cheer fund raising. So be uh, thinking about that also. Um, the Chosen Bible Study is going to switch to Wednesday nights um, at the Presbyterian Church, same time, 6.30. But it will be on Wednesday nights instead of Thursday nights. The youth group will be on Wednesday at 2.30. Okay, youth group will change to Wednesday at 2.30 also. Okay, so Wednesday, 2.30 here, and 6.30 Wednesday at the Presbyterian Church for the Bible Study. Any other announcements that need to be made? We have many people to pray for. Please keep uh, Donna and Johnny Gertzen as Johnny lost his brother and his sister-in-law within a week of each other. And uh, that family is mourning gratefully. Um, talked to uh, Colleen Lynn for about a half an hour on the phone yesterday. She's doing really well. She thanks you for all your prayers and uh, the visits and the flowers. And uh, she's, feeling, she's feeling really good. So keep her in your prayers also. Chris Morton is doing better after a second trip to the emergency room. Our regional minister had a little tussle with the car and bicycle. And uh, he's doing better. So uh, keep him in your prayers also. He's a very busy man. And of course, we pray for all those in the congregation and beyond who may be suffering from an illness or stress of a family situation. We keep them always in our prayers. Will you join in the call to worship? We come singing praises to your name, O Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. We give glory and honor to your name, O Lord. As we shout it from all the corners, so the world may know you are our God and King. Our next song is on page 111 in the chorus book, My Life is in You, Lord.
He listens to you. He can live anywhere in the universe, but he chose you, your heart. God didn't promise days without pain or laughter without sorrow, sun without rain, but he did promise strength for today, comfort for your tears, and light always for your path wherever you may choose to go. And for this we are so grateful. Okay, 
So, now, wait a minute. What's different with that? I said things were all in order, right? Why don't you stand right over here? So they were all in order, so we were doing spades, right? We had the king, the queen, the jack, the ten, the nine, the eight, the seven. You said stop. Guess what the next one was? The seven. That was the seven of hearts. But should the hearts be in the spades? No. No. How did that happen? No. I don't either. <laughs> so it's unique, right? Well, you know what? That's kind of okay because I have a feeling that's a magical number. It's my lucky number. Did you know that's God's number? Is that and the heart is because what? We've got big hearts, right? God loves us. So what we're going to do is we are going to get to keep that card. We are going to put these two back on top, and I am going to let you lose it in the deck. So you just shove it wherever you want to shove it. Got it? All right. Now, we're going to see just how magical that card is because we're going to make it come to the top. Let's see if he's pretty magical. Tap on the top. All right. Is that your card?
and he's going to show everybody how he is fearfully and wonderfully made, okay? Much better to me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you made each and every one of us unique, and we are made in your image, and you did not make any mistakes. We thank you for loving us that much. In your name we pray. Amen. Yes? <coughs> special person today in the sanctuary and her name is Joanna and it's her birthday. So Joanna, will you please come up here because your church family is going to sing happy birthday. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. <clears throat> we have another one in the house too. She's just a couple years older than Joanna. So, <laughs> so Carla's birthday and you're going to be how old? You're going to be five. Well, she's not quite five with another number in front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me sing happy birthday to our Christian friends.
prayers, literally, standing on holy ground every time we come into the Lord's presence. We're going to sing this through twice. Thank you. 
supporting members in the Stromsburg Nursing Home. That's where Karen and I are going tonight. So Mrs. Helen Noka, who I know will be public watching this, she is turning 20 years older than my friend. <laughs> well, and Kristen's birthday is today. And Kristen's birthday is today. Good grief. What was going on today? <laughs> Lots of people to celebrate. Well, for those of you who know Mr. Alex Conway, he has been a blessing to John and me, Carla in our lives. He came to us, we said about 11 years ago. He is going to be 30 in December on the 2nd. So they're going to have a big bash for him then. He came to us when he was 17 years old. And from that time, this young man not only sings, but he's learned to play the guitar, the piano, the drums. The electric guitar that we just purchased, and he's been rocking his room ever since. And now the last thing he bought, what was it? Bass guitar. A bass guitar. <laughs> so he is having a lot of fun. And so today he is actually going to be doing some numbers for you. And the first one he would like to do is Old Church Choir. Thank you. 
Scott went up to do the catering and the smoked meat, and all he had to do was eat it once. And so every time he came, Scott had to bring the meat. And then he hired him as his tour manager, basically. And so Scott was traveling all over. Well, Alex, of course, knew Scott. And he knew that he was with Scully Greenwood. So Carl asked him one day, she said, what would you like to sing? And he said, I want to sing God Bless the USA. As you know, Lee Greenman wrote that. And that actually is a very interesting story behind that song. So Carla uh, recorded him on that and showed it to Scott, who was so excited and showed it to Lee Greenwood. Well, Lee Greenwood happened to be in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry at the time. They were doing some big celebration with the Country Music Hall of Fame there, I think. And so Clint Black and um, the Oak Ridge Boys and I think Colin, or I don't know, it, there was a whole bunch. Anybody who was even remotely close to Lee Green, we got to see Alex's video. So he became quite the talk of Nashville. So that is why we chose today for him to do uh, God Bless the USA for you. If tomorrow all the things were done, I'd work for all my life. If I had to start again, just my children and my wife. And I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Desert flag still stands for freedom, and I can't take Brooke play football. 
And it just so happened, and actually we didn't know this when we planned this, uh, it happened to be homecoming, and Brooke was one of the candidates for homecoming. So he got to be a part of that. He got to go to his first pep rally in the afternoon. He got to go to his first game at night. And then yesterday, after having all day, we got to watch two Husker volleyball games, and you got quite caught up in that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and it ended well, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, as I said today, I, our, our key verse, really, even though it's not in your bulletin, is from Psalms 139. Where David says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Because God doesn't make mistakes. Each one is like a snowflake. We're all unique. We're all individual. We all look different. But God loves us all. And he asks us to use our talents, great or small, to spread the gospel. And with that, um, we're going to do our last song. And it's Let Them See You.
a time of prayer. Oh, it's just such a joy. If you had any, any, any idea what 11 years ago was like. And his favorite songs to think, sing besides the Beatles, I think it's Christian. Or the monkeys. They like the monkeys, don't you? As we come to our time of prayer, um, those of you who know Kathy Monroe, who used to be here, she asked for prayer the other night, and I did we get it on the prayer chain. Uh, Mike Monroe has got cancer in the stomach and the prostate, and they took out a big chunk, a big tumor in his stomach, and he's on oral chemo right now, and it's not uh, sitting very well with him. So they're trying to figure out what to do next. So she's just asking for prayer for him. He's still right here. Are there others that we would like to lift up? Not if you've got your hands with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today and our hearts are just full. We're full from the wonderful music that has been penned by so many gifted men and women that just love you and praise your name. And they are songs that we can sing to you and lift up on. We thank you that you have created each and every one of us beautiful in your eyes. And you have made something beautiful from each and every one, no matter how old, how young. We thank you that you allow us to be part of your ministry, to reach those with your love, to tell of your saving grace and your tender mercy. We ask that you would be with those who need healing, that you would be with those who are looking for guidance. May you be with those who are searching right now. And dear Lord, we thank you for your son, who was there in the beginning. He was the Word. He was with you, and we are created in his image. We thank you for all the gifts that he's given us, including salvation. And we thank you for your prayer that he taught us to pray. If you would join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. As we come before Christ's feast, we come remembering the night in which he sat with his chosen. And he lifted up that loaf, and he gave thanks, and he blessed it, and he broke it. And he said, this is now going to be my body, which is broken for you. Every time we do this, do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, we remember as he sat there and he lifted up the cup, the cup of salvation. And he gave thanks and he blessed it, but this time he said, this is now going to represent a new covenant, the covenant between myself and you. It will be my blood which will be poured out for the forgiveness of all sin. Every time you drink of this, do this in remembrance of me. So as the body of Christ, we come before his feast that is open to all. We come eating and drinking, partaking of the elements, remembering his death, his resurrection, but most importantly, proclaiming it to all who listen. If you would join with me in our next hymn, we're going to do Make Me a Servant, and it's on page 5, and we're going to do that too twice.
guests of the same mind, lead us away from selfish, vindictive attitudes, and help us look out for the interests of others. As we share this bread here at this table, help us share the loving spirit as well. In breaking this bread, we look to Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to the point of death on a cross, so that we might know your glory. Encourage us and guide us with your spirit, so that we might witness to God's love. May our loving witness bring others to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer, knowing that you hear us and that you care for us. We know that often we are untrusting and untrustworthy, but that you love us anyway. In coming to this table, we know that we have a lot to learn about love and unity but we also know that you are our best teacher. Grant us humble spirits so that we might have the same mind in us as in Christ Jesus. Help us to learn of Christ's love poured out for us as we bless and drink from this cup. Through your spirit, help us exalt and glorify the name of Christ in all that we do.